Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into another product from Fujia. This is going to be a tool made in Japan. If you guys are interested in any of the tools that I do reviews on, if I enjoy them, I do link them down in the description for you guys. It will be underneath the tools link. So keep that in mind, it's there for you. Everything that I have purchased or got from Japan has been above and beyond when it comes to uh, quality and finish at least of tools uh, every tool that I've ever had from Japan has been phenomenal and you guys if you've seen any of my Japan tool reviews in the past you guys have already heard me say that so once again I have another really good product here that I've really gotten really good use out of and it saved me because well I'll get into that in just a second Besides the tools that I have linked in the description, this sticker was also in the packaging with this tool. So if you're interested in checking out their website, this is their website. This is just a little sticker that was sent with it. Uh, a lot of tools on here. So if you guys are interested, that's the website. All right. So a couple years ago, I was doing the fuel lines on my Camaro, which I used nylon braided fuel line. And... I needed a way to cut it in order to do my AN fittings. So I purchased this set of OEM tools ratcheting hose cutters on Amazon. It was at least maybe three years ago, I wanna say, for $10. And they worked really well the first time I used them, really well. The blade is nice and sharp. Uh, it's ratcheting, so it made cutting hose really easy. And they worked really well. Well, the downside to these, to open the blade, you pull it. Well, the downside to these is there's a lot of moving parts and little pieces holding it together. So you got a pin here that slides, and then you got your ratcheting mechanism on the inside that you can see here. And then you can see me pull it down there. So basically, up top here, internally, there are more pins that slide on this ratcheting portion. Well, the pin fell out that sits right down in here. And luckily I found it and I reinstalled it and I got it working again. And unfortunately, because it's in such a tight space, there was no way to really lock it back in where it's supposed to go. It fell out, I lost it, and it has been worthless ever since. Luckily, I only spent $10 on it. So now it is worthless because when you go to ratchet, there's nothing, the pin is gone, so it doesn't move it to the next tooth. So the cutter just sits there and moves up and down and doesn't actually do anything unless I apply pressure to the blade itself, which doesn't work while cutting hose. So this thing is basically garbage to me now, but it was only $10, so I, you know I wasn't that upset. But then again, I got what I paid for. I should have probably just spent a little bit more money in the beginning and I would have been much more satisfied. So today we're looking at the Fujia. This is a company that's been around since 1923. This is once again made in Japan and it is great for a wide variety of different things. So here you'll see some of the features that it has and I'll go into them on the actual tool itself. Here you see 200 millimeters the size or eight and a half inches and it is part number Foxtrot Foxtrot 29-200 and there's not much as far as English on the back so unfortunately this won't do too much good but there's the website once again down on the bottom so these are called their resin tube cutters but they're good for anything from rubber hose to PVC pipe so it's very versatile and it's uh, actually pretty cool the design to it so this is very large plus uh, side is you can fit a lot of larger size hoses on here as well but you gotta really focus on holding it in place and making sure you get a good flush cut with these it's got a really cool design they run around $35 and they're much much better made than the OEM tools one that I have the other great thing about this is the blade. Even if it dulls after use, you can actually flip it around by removing this and the blade is in here. You can take it out and turn it around and you have a fresh blade. So it is spring-loaded. 
to open it, you push down here and it's just a little spring loaded here. There's not a ratcheting mechanism, but here in the jaw, you can see it has kind of this shape for a couple different size hoses or pipes, PVC pipe. And then if you have something larger, you loosen this bottom screw here and this slides out and then you can lock it in place, allowing you to cut larger items as well or uh, electrical sheathing or anything like that. Or maybe you are running coax or anything along your wall, it will cut this as well. So I'll show that in just one minute. So it is very versatile and it's a really nice design. And I love that the blade can be removed and flipped. So that's really nice. And then here, made in Japan, just kind of a close look at it. The other thing that's nice is since this isn't ratcheting, it is uh, fairly simple as far as the design. So there's not much that can go wrong with it like the OEM tools style. So I just have a various collection of hoses here. This is a vacuum line. I'll just simply show how well it cuts it. So really nice, really easy, really clean cut. Moving into 3 8 fuel line, which kind of fits nicely in here. And it kind of holds it right in place. And it makes sure you get a nice square cut to it. The hose is an angle, so that's why it looks the way it looks, but it is square. And then I have brake booster line here, which is a little bit larger. Very little effort cut that very nicely as well. And then we also have here my old nylon braided fuel line. Uh, I would not use these on steel braided fuel line, but nylon is going to be just fine. So that went behind my toolbox. So normally when you cut nylon braided fuel line or anything like this, you would have electrical tape on here just like I do this end, but I did want to show the cut. It does cut very well. And now we will use it to cut this uh, electrical wire sheathing. Um, also keep in mind, it will cut larger diameter than this. This is just very small stuff that I had laying around the house. That's behind my toolbox now too. Nice clean cut. So let's just take a look at these cutters. Once again, up close. The blade is very sharp. It works very well, very versatile, and much more durable than the OEM Tools one. So if you guys are interested in a good quality hose cutter, once again, this is mainly described on their website or on Amazon as their water hose or a water pipe cutter, but it does state in the description that it is good for rubber hose and PVC and everything as well. So a very nice, durable, well-made hose cutter. And I will be using it, or I have been using it on more lines as I'm replacing them on the Camaro. So I'm very happy with these. Once again, it'll be linked down in the description for you guys if you guys are interested there for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down in the comment section of your guys' thoughts. And uh, if you have a cutter similar to this or one that you really like, share it with us. And other than that, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. See you guys next time.